Hi, my name is Praise Ganiyu and you are welcome to One Soaking Channel, your number one gospel channel in Nigeria, West Africa and in the world at large. Here you are going to be getting messages that will defy you and also build up your spiritual stamina. So kindly subscribe, like, drop your comment and also turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when we drop any other videos. Thank you. Are you married? I want somebody that is married now. Mm -hmm. Ice, you are married now. Uh -huh. You know, there are certain kind of price you can't pay now as a married man. You come and say, Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my life. I will sleep in tent alone. <laughs> ah. You have to agree with your wife. Oh. Before you are married, you can just wake up like this and say, for the next seven days, I will not see this in my house. I know you, you are enjoying, and I know you are. <laughs> hmm? Go and thank your wife. Buy a gift for her next time. When last you buy a gift for her? You don't say, uh... hey. You, you know they try. Me and you now, I will fight this one with you. Should they try you? Mm. You cannot. If you marry now, uh, if you marry now, more age, ma, mu kwa se mu ozo. Ina wo ru ne me. If there are dealings on left at Beterama, just because some people think if they marry, the things that the teachings that they did not fully learn, you mean you you automatically knew it. You are not wise. If you don't finish your training, don't be, just because you didn't finish it doesn't mean it has ended. It means that you left your class. And the reason why this place, this place has forced God opportunity to discipline, train, do a lot of things faster than he would have taken. It's not as if you are not learning one or two of these things before now, but when you came here, the rate was tripled. When you leave, Nobody will find your trouble in your husband. Nobody, a lot of things. You, you'll be forming that you know everything. Because once you marry like this, you feel like you have known everything. What you don't know, you don't know it. What you don't have, you don't have it. If the opportunity to have it, you missed it, you are not going to have it again. Because the situation will not allow you to come back. For example, imagine some of our sisters that have married. I don't want to say because if I said it, they would think I'm talking to them. I'm not talking to them, I'm speaking generally. But if I say our sister that are married, we know. What will I do about this? Some sisters that are married somewhere. We have our group that I'm with some sisters. Something happened. If I say this one, the sister I'm talking about, we know. And she might be watching me now. Something happened. And some sisters were apologizing. The sister came and said, forgive my sisters. She removed herself. Now, you don't know me. I pay attention to details. Me? Oh! I said, this one thinks she has graduated. Just because she married. She's my friend, though. But... She, that thing does not graduate you. It's a proof you have a lot to, a lot to learn. <laughs> so if you are not wise, you are a married... I don't want to say this. Hey! If you are not disciplined, you are a married what? If you are a thief, you are a married what? You are the one saying it. Oh. If you are a talkative, you are a married what? If you are an angry person, you are a married what? There is no other way. That's why sometimes... You have to help yourself now. Especially with those things that you can learn when you marry. There are things you can learn. But are things you can't learn again. When I saw it, I did my head like this. I said, Tom, this one don't come off of my hand. If she is Sabi and she know, if you know. Now, that's how I'm watching all of you. You'll be making comments. You did not make comment. Even the people that did not make comment is a comment. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I write to... I take record. 
me. How do I now remove people from our group? And you know those people I'm removing are, have been dormant since three months. Is it not true? Go and check it. I'm always up to date. And I'll be checking. I will make this post. And then this person doesn't normally celebrate people during birthday. In your birthday, you want people to celebrate you. I will be silent. I will behave as if I don't know you will have birthday. Guess what? It's those people that he pains the more. But when people are celebrating their birthday, you will see it or you will now, even though you are free, you will now celebrate the person by 1 a.m. of tomorrow. All the things people are learning on marriage, relationship, it's in your Bible. If you are a good Christian, you will survive. If you obey this Bible, there are too many laws in it that you can't even keep it. Before you, are, before you have been able to keep the one they are teaching, you can't keep Bible. You can keep that one they are teaching. But Bible is harder. If you do Bible, that one will be lesser. You know what is Bible? Bible will come and tell you to love your wife as Christ loved the church and died for it. Think they fear me. <laughs> if you are a sincere person, you should be afraid. He didn't say just love. He put the love in context. So that you know what we mean. What we mean is the way Christ loved the church and died. And I... Hey! <laughs> we need to compare. <laughs> we need to check this thing. Because sometimes when ladies come and say, they told us to be submissive, to be subject to our husband, that he said, hey, that is the easier one. Assuming the two people are Bible students. The other one is Adam. The way God tests love is not the way human being tests it. That's why people say they are in love and they are out of you don't know. You can't be in and out. It's covenant. It's feeling. You can be in and out of feeling. Valentine, I will say this and I will go back to my teaching. Ah, it's better you don't love her because you will die. God was on his own. When he now loved, he died. <laughs> the way I will teach my own will shock you people. It's not what all these things people have been telling you that is not practical. Practical things. Once you love, you die. The, the Bible, for God so loved the world that what happened? As soon as you, if you truly love, you die. Do you want, do you want, do you want to die? <laughs> oh my God. You know the thing. All of us go die. <laughs> oh, die. It's either you die through that pathway or you die. There, there is cross before all of us. Mm. So when we have been able to analyze the whole thing like this, somebody cannot just wake up and say, I want to marry. You have to count your cost well. You can't be moving on the street and see somebody and say, no. So when they say pray, you have to pray for long. And hope that the person is trained by me. Just hope that the person is trained by me. Mm, yes, now. Say, am I talking to him? Yes, I'm talking to you. Hope that the person is trained by me. Makes it easier for you. Uh, part of the things you'll be hoping the person should know already knows it. 70% of the job done. Which was going to achieve her job. Yes. Everybody should learn this. Hmm? I will show you people my secret very soon. It is simple. God makes life simple. But you can make it complex. By looking for what is not looking for you. Say in Jesus name. I will follow God. I will follow his precepts. Say after me in Jesus name. I will follow the precepts of God. I will follow the precepts of God. I think you need to add, so help me, God. So help me, God. Because you need help in Jesus' name. Amen. And sometimes when I say this, some people will think that they are too strong there. 
Okay, you are not half as strong as me. No. I therefore so wrong, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beated the uh, next verse quickly. But what happened? And lest when I've preached to others, I myself should be what? I think this should be the last verse, right? Let's join another scripture to it so that we can make progress. Hebrews chapter 12. Let's read it together. One, two, ready, go. Uh huh. Uh huh. That word patience is not Danji Bakari. That word patience is endurance. This race here, the exact is not this race here is not hundred meters dash. This race, the exact picture of this race is a marathon. This race now is not hundred meters. If it's hundred meters, all you need is is just to gather speed and then you do boom and then you end. no. This one you need endurance sometimes. You want to gas out, but you continued. If you have never felt like stopping, then you don't know this race. If you have never felt like just abandoning everything and leaving it to God, you have just tried your best, you don't know this race. Why is that woman that came from Kaduna? Oi. Say after me, marathon. marathon. The best marathon people, they train themselves on mountains. Is it not true? Yes, because when you climb mountains, aside the fact that if you climb higher, it puts more stress on your bread. It also, the higher you go to the mountain, the less is oxygen. Is it not true? Yes, sir. The less is oxygen. So, these people that run this race knows how to manage with little oxygen. Hmm? They also understand the life of the cactus. Little oxygen, little water, they can survive. No matter the case, no matter the scenario, they just pass through it. While others are swallowed, they pass through it. Rough patches in their life, they pass through it. They know how to store enough food that can last them the dry weather, and then they come into another. You will not know that they are passing. You look at them, you find that there is a measure of consistency that is not normal. Let's start again from the book of First Corinthians. Let me just show one or two things. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one what? Received the prize. So the target is not running. The target is what? The prize. The target is what? The target is what? So our eyes is on the prize, not just to run. There are people that are just interested in running. How many of you have heard the story of those two people, young men that brought message to David? Is it not true? Yes, one is Kush, the, the Kushite. The other one is, what was his name? Ahimas. So, who even has the message? Is it not Ahimas? The, Kush, the Kushite. The Kushite has the message. And you know, Kush is Africa. I hope you know. The Kushite has the message. But the other one said, I, I want to run. They say, you don't have, you don't have something. You, you, you are not, your eyes is not, you don't even know what we are running for. You don't know the price. You don't know the man. He said, I don't care. All I want to do is just to run. He said, you don't know the pattern. You don't know the mark. You don't know the price. You don't know. You say, I just want to be a minister. I just want to be doing ministry. I like pulpit. I like ministry all my life. I like microphone. I just want to do ministry. I don't care. As long as I'm doing ministry. Uh, you see, settle down and see the mark. Settle down and see the price. Settle down and see the ultimate end of God. 
so that you can measure your progress. The progress in your spiritual journey and in your line of ministry is not arbitrary. There is exact tests and indices of progress. So just because you are running doesn't mean you are going in the right direction. You have to know how to check. And will you be able to know when you have arrived or that you are making progress if you don't know where you are going? When I entered the aircraft and we are making a long distance journey on air. Some of these bigger aircrafts, when you sit in it, there is a screen in front of you that you can use and watch movies, do many things. But me, I didn't use my own to watch movies. What I did, I was monitoring the flight. It is my pastime to monitor flight. Because you will see the screen and they will tell you where you started, tell you the altitude, tell you how many hours you have spent and how many hours it will take you to arrive. You will see the track, how you will move from Addis Ababa to, to Sao Paulo. That's the one I went for. You will see it. Hmm? If you didn't see where you are ending, what if you missed the course? Will you know? How will you know you have missed it when you don't know where you are going? Your own is that you just want to run. Ah. You will not even know the disciplines to imbibe. You will not know the rules of engagement. You will not know the trainings you must give yourself to. You will not know the resources that you must engage because you don't know where you are going. Hmm? You don't know where you are going. <laughs> One of my uncles told my mother that, hey, that she should not enter an aircraft. Oh. That if she enters an aircraft, that the thing will turn her upside down. That if they are flying, they will just do like this. The food she ate will now come out from her. <laughs> Including my mother was afraid that the thing will just... The word is an evil word. Not just an evil word. It's an evil word. If I say it, the people from here... He said, us not by honor to a John Joloko. It means... <laughs> Do you know what is John Joloko? I know you will know. That is from here. And then everything in your system, everything will turn upside down. That is the story of a man that has not entered an aircraft. You see it? So everything you are using to execute the journey is assumption. You, are, you want to run the race of ministry and eternal life based on assumption. You don't know the mark. Huh? Because this thing we call the mark is something that an average believer is not exactly aware of. They don't understand the eternal purposes of God. So when you tell them about holiness, because that's what we are, know ye not that they which run in a race, run all but, but one received the prize. So run that email. Show me the next verse. I want to show you something. And everyone that strives for mastery is what? Temp when we speak about temperateness, people we think is not needed. Since I can go to churches, why do I need why do I need to fast? Why do I need to pray more than 30 minutes? Why do I need to be holy? Why why do we need to do this? These are the language of people that don't know the mark. And sometimes when you hear them, you join them. Because some people think that the mark is having a good life. You know? The man, when we are speaking, gave an example. So I will use that example too. Hmm? Just like he started. I want to use somebody. Stand up, stand up. Let me use you for example. Don't be ashamed though. Hmm? It's not to insult you. Hmm? How many houses do you have? Uh. <laughs> you see, I told him not to be ashamed. <laughs> How many houses do you have? No. Not even four story. Not even three story. Not even two. Not even one. Okay, what of a bungalow? Okay. 
How many cars do you have? Uh -uh. Not even Bugatti. Not even Rolls Royce. Not even Ferrari. Okay, what of what of Mercedes Benz? Okay, what of Toyota Corolla? Don't, don't be angry. Hmm? How much do you have in your accounts now? Do you have up to 100 million? Follow. What of 10 million? What of 1 million? <laughs> so let's leave him. The, the man is a millionaire, so let's... Because he didn't answer me this last one. I need somebody that has less than a million. You can sit down. You have less than a million. Come and join me and finish this question. Huh? Stand up, stand up. But you are too young. You should not have anything. Hmm? How many million do you have? Do you have up to one million? Uh -huh. You're already ashamed, so I will not use you for this example. There is no need to be ashamed, though, because if you see the example I want to give, the question is, you don't have all these things. What is Satan still fighting for? You don't have car. You don't have house. You don't have millions. Why is Satan still contending? What is Satan still fighting for? I thought if he wants to fight, he should fight, car, fight. But you now, you, do, you don't really have anything. But he's still fighting, doing, raising all manner of persecution, all manner of... What is he fighting for? Is he for your car? Is he for your house? For your clothes? For your... What is he fighting for? That should teach you a lesson. It's a deep lesson we want to teach. Because the reason why I'm saying this thing is people don't know the mark. They don't know what is in contention. They don't know the emphasis. The Bible said that the reason why that city, Babylon, is called... The name of Babylon is Babylon the Great. Why? Because there are many commodities that is traded in Babylon. The worst is that even the souls of men are traded in Babylon. It is a great thing for a soul to be bought. But Babylon has a price for a soul. Only Babylon. The souls are meant for God. But I don't know how Babylon manipulated it. And they were able to price souls and buy it. What Satan is contending for is for the souls of men. Now, what I mean this, it is not just the souls of men in the sense of not being born again. No. There is a likeness of God that your soul must retain. That is the mark. Transformation is the mark. So if Satan doesn't stop you from going to heaven, he stop, he, he wants you to be like this. Thank you for watching. And if this video has blessed you, please like, kindly subscribe, and also tap on the notification bell so you can stay notified and updated on our new videos. And please do not forget to share the link to people so we can bless more people. And most importantly, we want to know how this video has blessed you under the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe.